We are recording. All right. Well, welcome to Plasterville Arts Associations. Come on through, sir. We can't. We can't keep you from going. Come on through, through sir. Come on. We get a little cameo <laughs> here. Of a couple of our <laughs> local <laughs> citizens heading toward the recorder's office. All right. Here we go. Welcome to Plasterville Arts Associations Spring 2024 show. This is our judge Sherry Hacker, who comes with wonderful credentials, and you can read all about them on our website. In our mm -hmm. newsletter or on the wall here and and you I, are Carolyn Cunningham I sort of coordinated this. You're, you're our show As, chair I am the show chair Linnell Phillips behind the camera and all these other wonderful people are the helpers yeah she's taking a picture it, ta it takes a village and this is just a few of the people that have participated this morning and Sherry is going to say a little bit about the winners that we have Sherry would you awesome. like to start with the honorable mentions and move up or does it matter up and down. <laughs> first place first. First place first. Okay, we're in photography, and the first place piece is, um, oh shoot. It's right here. Is that one. It's, it's that's Reddish. Leonard James, and that is called, um, I believe. I am so sorry, I thought the names were on here. Fleeing Egret, well I won't know all of them, but it's I do know this Reddish one. It's called Reddish Egret Fleeing Wave. Okay. And that's our first place winner. Well, congratulations, okay. Leonard. This I should get half of that, I brought it in. And Sherry, go ahead and talk okay. a little bit about So, both of his pieces got awards. And, you know, some people may think of them as being a lucky shot, but I know that they took a whole lot of time and patience to do. And it's just, it's, it's beautiful. The motion, catching that, the, the wave, the whole stop motion of the whole picture and the way it's composed, it, I mean, it's just, it's very appealing. It does have the wow factor and it deserves first place. Okay. And our second place is over here. Right? Which was a hard decision yes, on either of the two one. because. And is it, this, this is, is Leonard also again? Leonard James, yeah. and this one is titled Cormorant Stealing Fisherman's Cat. Because this one also grabbed me um, in the same way. I think it, I might have chosen uh, one because of the wave and how we captured the water that way. But this one, it's, it's just fabulous. It's and, amazing. And I it's know just that amazing. it takes thousands of pictures yeah. to deliver what he does yeah. to us. And, and I'm sure that's a lot of pictures to look through to figure out mm -hmm. really what you yeah. feel is your best piece. Yeah. He so. did art tours with me one year and I spent a whole weekend with him, two weekends actually, and he told me that um, he used to be a woodworker and he, what he loves about photography is it takes a lot less room. It's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. And not a mess. <laughs> um, yeah, so the composition is good. I mean, don't, I can't say anything wrong with that photo. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. Ready for third place? Okay. This is right here. Right? This is called, oh my goodness, The Cat Shadow by Medi Gadiani. Medi's a new member with us. Okay. Well, you know, I could, I could tell that it has the digital manipulation in the photograph but it is, could be her actual cat, I don't know, but it's a great shot of the cat. It's inventive in the type of design work that they decided to put into it. So, it's bold. It's right, it is what it is. It's a perfect capture of the cat. And I'm gonna step into this a little bit to and hopefully to be, get enough focus so that you can see this texture. There's reflection and reflection. it's interesting because when you back across even the hallway and back up a, just a, a few feet away from it it you don't notice the texture in right. the same way uh, and it is very well done and it's a fellow by the way just okay. just so oh, we okay. know it's a guy in fact so far all the winners have been men i don't know what's going on with you oh, sherry i don't either <laughs> okay. we have an so, and, and that was a part of it too is the texture you only see when you're yeah. up close Otherwise, really nice work it looks totally clear. come on through again another cameo appearance you're gonna get an oscar you get to do your video hey <laughs> okay we have an honorable mention which is uh number five by ken mayhar follow your heart i think it's no, I, it is no. not that. It's not that one? Gosh darn it. We didn't so have, we have the farm and the car. Oh, oh, is it on the post? It's on the post. Yes, this one. 
Yes. This is Follow Your Heart by Ken Mayhar. Honorable mention. It's honorable mention. Right. So the, the composition is well done. And your eye gets drawn into to the heart here, and it's echoed larger here. The texture is really great, and you know, it's a wonderful scene. It draws you in. Well, and do you think we could have a woman winner in the next category? Maybe? Well, we have one here coming up. <laughs> For our honorable mention is number 040, Mr. D's Diner in Kingman, Arizona. And this is a, uh, excuse me. Here. And who's the artist this on this? Chris Wright. Chris Wright. That's a, a woman. Yes. In case you care. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's, you know, a nostalgic scene. Um, Anybody who's gone off Route 66 is, you know, it makes you, makes you, uh, brings up memories and the composition's well done. The coloring is interesting. It looks like it may have been manipulated slightly, but um, very, very well done. Very clear, clear photo. This, this is a location that is, um, many ph photographers go to and they actually, uh, staff moves the vehicles around from time to time so different shots can be had and the tip here that we learned last time when we talked with Chris about one of her photos from this location is that you need to go during the week because it's impossible to get a shot like this on the because weekend because so there's simply too many people to accomplish yeah, that's that. That's great piece. Yeah. We have one more right here underneath it. Right this underneath. is Lava Cap and, uh, Afternoon. And this is number 80, which makes it by Connie Hardy. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I, again, I think the colors may have been manipulated slightly to bring them out more, but it's such an atypical El Dorado County scene. Um, and, um, you know, it speaks to where we are in this building and to your whole community. And it's very well done. And, and, and we know, made it. We're right there. We are there. And, and we made a decision as a group that if uh, a photographer used Photoshop or even Lightroom or even an AI program, which a lot of the Adobe um, photo manipulation programs now have built in internally, that if it started out as a photograph, it would be considered a photograph. And so that's where we've yeah. come down with it in our group. Mm -hmm. So it may, it may have gone through something like Topaz because it's got a little bit of brightness to it, but really nice, really nice. Okay. We are on to pastel and drawing. I think that was it, wasn't it, Cherry? Okay. Uh, pastel and drawing included a lot of different media, pastels, colored pencils, pencil, oil pastel, scratch board, ink, all kinds of things. So um, it, it's kind of a mixed bag category. First place is this scratch board by Shirley Isola. And Sherry didn't even know it was a scratch board at first. No, it, it looks like it's it just a super fine drawing. Um, a fine as in fine technique. Uh, it's really, it's just fabulously done. Um, it's meticulous. The detail is really incredible. And you can feel the texture of the leather, and you can feel the texture of the rope and the hair. And it's also an interesting viewpoint of zooming in on just that, that area. I really like the way the eye is in there at just the right place on the canvas. It's really nicely done. The artist happens to be standing behind you in the beige sweater over there. Congratulations. Thank you. That's wonderful. That's all wonderful. right, we've got the second place is all the way down here. I'm not trying to rush you. Just, uh, this is another scratch board, this one without color on it. This is second place. It's called Family Outing by Carolyn Cunningham. Our artist is right here. And yeah. now yeah. back to our judge. And so um, <laughs> this is the only one that I thought was a scratch board. So the, the color one really fooled me. Um, again, the detail. And so small to have to have the detail of those people and all of the objects, the entire scene in there. It is so well done, uh, and I like that it's in black and white. And you know, you get that feeling of, of 
It's a photograph that somebody brought back. Mm -hmm. And Bangkok, Thailand, 1968. Oh, what you know, and just it has good motion in it. I mean, it's a very believable scene. And the contrast, well done. We have the really dark areas compared to the light. A lot of different values in this piece. We have a third place right here. This is Angus by Sue Wickersham. This is oil pastel. I love this piece. That artist is awesome. I really artist. love this piece. <laughs> um, it's. It's not your typical way of uh, portraying a dog, of course, because of the color. So it has a little bit of an op art, uh, pop art, pop art type of uh, feeling to it, because and the complementary color scheme. Um, but I really like also the the layering. So that background, putting the goldish, the gold tone um, ochre colors on top and then the scratching through in different places, adding all the different, uh, there's red dots in here, so, and some texture, you know, they were free to actually leave some of that oil pastel nice and thick in places. And um, again, this one is super believable too, that that is a dog and that's his expression. And it's really fun, I it's love this piece. Angus. <laughs> it's really fun. All right, we have some honorable mentions in this category as well. Behind you, I believe, mm -hmm. zero, zero, eight. Yes, this is an honorable mention. This is by Cynthia Hayes, and it is untitled. And our yeah. artist is right. here with us. And this is the artist from Angus. <laughs> and that's the horsey lady over here. And this You're is Pastel, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's well done. The um, you get the feeling of the water. I feel the motion. The light is really well done on the leaves, on the rocks. A, a lot of a lot of great values in the rocks. It's well done. The coloring is beautiful. I mean, it's it's a scene that you would see. So it's 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 very realistic. And it's soft oh, at the same time because of the pastels. Yeah. We have another honorable mention for Cynthia Hayes, number 009, titled Decisions, Decisions. And I believe, let's see, oh, it's the dog in the water. Over here. <laughs> All right, right. Okay. So water is something that's really difficult to portray. And I think that the artist did a really great job of the waves in the foreground and giving you an idea of um, transparency also, the way the dog is there and the reflection of the leg and, um, and then the waves also. You know, it, it really does speak of the water. The dog's pose is great. You, you really get that. We've seen a million dogs like that in the water. Just here we, we're ready to go, ready to go. And um, again, just really well done. I had a feeling that both of those were done by the same person, but I felt that they both deserved honor. Thank nice. You. And we have one more honorable mention right here. It's called Roaring Camp Train Santa Cruz. It's by Marie Gonzalez. It's also, is it a pastel? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah, it's pastel. Mm -hmm. And very realistic looking. Um, any train gro goer is going to love this <laughs> pastel. So the wood looks great, the water tower behind. Uh, so, you know, you do get the feeling of both the metal and the wood and the, and the ground, the dirt with the brushy grass that's dried up, the smoke, mm -hmm. the trees, all of it. It was so much texture that is depicted and depicted well. All right, Carolyn, where do we go next? I'm sorry. Where do we go next? You're trying to get ahead of the game here because I have to look on two different And we all look up and you're gone. Okay, we've got acrylic category. 
and unfortunately this one has a funny shadow on it, but Sherry has chosen this, um, okay, hold on, let me find the right title, Texas Panhandle Bison by Carrie Ullman. First wow, place. congratulations, Carrie Ullman. She was around. Did she leave? Maybe. Oh, she's gone. Okay. Okay, well, the buffalo, you know, the buffalo, again, so many of these are have uh, such realism in them. Um, that eye is sparkling and looking, looking this way, especially the one on the left, and the texture is really great. So, you know, seeing it up close and seeing how the artist took the time, all the dabbing of the paint. It looks very much like an oil painting too, even though it is acrylic. This artist has, in the last year or two, taken such a leap with their skill level. So it's very exciting to see her get a first place. Second place is called Flight Dream. It is by Richard Nederloff or Niederloff, I'm not sure. It's this one right here, Flight Dream. This one has a, a lot of imagination to it. So um, one of them, out of, one out of many realistic pieces that there's realism in the girl, but the way that uh, it's executed of her hands, we're not seeing that they're super detailed, but we can actually feel that the pose that she's in. So, so that doesn't matter. So the brushwork, is one of the most important parts of this painting. That's looser. Um, we really have this feeling of going this way, so the directionals are helping us to go into it. We're going into it with her. I, I, I had a feeling that she might be falling instead of in flight, so she does have, have that feeling of there's an ambiguity there that I wasn't completely sure about. So, I, I, so I've been sitting here thinking that, she needs a parachute. It's good to have the mystery. And, really um, and it's kind of fun with the light that's on it right now because you're seeing the thickness of the paint right there mm -hmm. and how it's glowing. I'm, I'm curious if it was the person's imagination or they put a couple of photos together that they were thinking about or what what they were actually thinking. If I get a chance, I'll ask him those questions. Okay. I have the three places over here when you're done. This is Hillside Blooms by Randy Hunterlaw and Sherry. And so one of the things about this piece is, is just getting far away from it and really seeing it in a different viewpoint. Um, it's a lot of fun. It kind of harkens back to 50s, 60s, 70s in its approach and um, you know with everything very hard lined and separated and the round shape was a good choice I believe for that to to add a little bit of a, a different hint to it and painting on the edges was great but again I, I like seeing this one uh, both close up to really see what happens both from very far away. We're down here. And when you're down there, you might look at that one from far away. We're going to say best to show for the last. So, oh. so it all pulls, pulls <laughs> together. Okay, we have two honorable mentions. This one right here by Sherry Lynn Morris is called In the Sky. So this one is just a lot of fun. Um, you know, again, this one is using a lot of imagination, a lot of texture, and you know, a lot of color. But the color is working, so none of the color is fighting each other. Um, great line work, great texture. Just it's very designful and fun. And another honorable mention right here. It's called Halcyon. It's by Deb Walker. Okay. I hope I have that. And this one just has a really great feeling because 
You probably all of us have been to a beach like that, maybe not in a, a little trailer, but maybe. And, um, you know, I think for, for the most part, this one, it's, it's a feeling that you get from it. And then also, you know, there's some great, just nice loose work and not being afraid to just like, okay, let's go for it and see what happens. But at the same time, taking a lot of care in finishing it. So it isn't, it isn't haphazard. It's just um, depicted a little bit more, I think, with emotion in it. Hey, mixed media and collage. Oh, it, everything sounds different in here. All right. Come, Come on, on through. through I'll even race it so you're not cameo. There we go. Okay. For I first, must be on camera. <laughs> first place in mixed media is Coit Paper Lantern Stream by Sherry Lynn Morris. So what, what can you not say about this <laughs> one being fun? It's, this is about as mixed media, I think, as it can get. Um, they look like, I think they're shoes. They are shoes. Yeah. Well, they're, uh, I think they're the, the cardboard inserts that they oh, put in. Oh, interesting. Only, yeah. Or maybe they, I but I don't know. They look, like, they look like they're rubber or yeah, tennis shoes. Um, but, uh, so, I, so that's also a good thing, too, yeah. is that we really... It's making us really look at it. Wait, what is that? Are you kidding? That's what, that's what is on there, and it's on there, and then all the extra added embellishment. Um, besides the painting, the actual, you know, taking care in painting the different areas. Uh, it's just well executed. This is just so fun, the different media, and very, very inventive. Very inventive. And I'm loving the red paper lamps. They just add so much to it. The creativity of putting those with the view that we have. So it's just Sherry Lynn's creative. What can we say? Sherry Lynn's creative. Okay, we have second place here. The title is under cloudy skies. Is it this one? No, it's this one. It's the long one. Oh, long right. Long okay, let me let me see if I can figure out if I can get far right. enough to and get that one. It would be great if this was, if you had more room to step back mm -hmm. in it. And, and who is the artist? Cunningham. But you again. It's me again. This, this one right here is the artist there. Okay, well, we got it. All right. So it's a really great use of the different papers and different textures. So there's some cheesecloth in here. Um, there's a uh, text in here besides the different different textures and colors. Looks like probably maybe some ink or some paint got added to it in places, which I really appreciate as well. Um, you know, letting, this looks like it might be aluminum foil. There's just all kinds and it's just going, you know, leading you to this place, to that place continuing on and on and on until you get to the sky where again you have some more great texture and looks like some uh, handmade paper put in there for the clouds um, and then the the allowing it to be a uh, torn edge instead of just straight cuts that's also adding to the appeal of the piece so a good variety of coloring and textures but it all works together nothing is fighting each other and um and you're led into the scene and you don't stop anywhere you just kind of keep going back and forth looking thank you very nice work we've got third place is mixed media which is ink and a okay ink and watercolor okay. that's why it's mixed media it's matt harleen's okay and this one is just technically well done the framing is is uh it's interesting how they chose the framing, and it looks very professional, the way that they decided, made that, those decisions. But, you know, these drawing lines, and er everything is very, very detailed. And it, it's just technically extremely well done. We have some mixed, uh, two 
honorable mentions. There's one down here, right There's here. There's one down here. Yeah. Yes, there is. I'm sorry. Carrie Repkings, and it is called, oh goodness, uh, Guardian. Yeah, I can't get up. Does it say the medium? On that it's, one? you know, it's. It just says mixed media, and I know she, it's mostly collage. She works with lots of different kinds of papers. Sometimes some photo. Uh -huh. I wonder the gel, if images. she used a gel plate at all. I don't think there's it. any jelly plate on this no, at okay. all. No. Well, it's it's a. I could see this as, at a whole series of these. Um, I think I think it's well done. It's it's nicely simply framed which brings the piece out, and um, it's just a really great abstraction. Okay. All right, and we've got one more honorable mention down this way by Pam Blank. Oh. <laughs> right here. This is called Emerald Bay by Pam Blank. So I appreciate that the person was willing to uh, tear apart one of their paintings. Could have been more than one of their paintings. And, um, and play with that idea of, okay, let's take something that maybe didn't work out initially and um, let's see if I can make something better out of this. And, uh, and it's a great scene. I, I like the added, you know, really thin pieces of paper that give you kind of the grass there and just the, the layers let you go into it. It's built up really, really nicely. It's, you know, again, really great that they used their own paper that they had painted. We can come down here and do both the novice and the miscellaneous. And I'm, I'm, because there were only two pieces in our novice category, we did not give a first place. We gave a second place and an honorable mention. And the second place goes to, ref hold on, let me make sure I'm t saying the right person. Marty Winkler, reflection number one is. All right, we're in the oil painting category. Okay. This is first place. Camaraderie by Rebecca Lamely, second place oil. The figures are very believable in walking down this trail. You can feel the motion in their body. And, um, and, and I think that's one of the best features of this. You don't. You don't have to be close up, far away, but when you are close, you see all the painterly brush strokes that are in it. And so, so no fear of, you know, dabbing that paint on, getting the paint on with a little viscosity in it. Um, nice brush work, but I really appreciate the, the figures, the motion. And so from a distance, you really get that feeling that they're on that hike. This is third place in oils. It's called Cheese and Chefs by Pam Blank. Another new member. This one, again, the figures are really well done. He's, he's cooking. They're all, they're all in motion and they're all working there in the kitchen. Um, and you have these people that are in the back and then you have the cheese and the grapes and the pitcher that actually they ground the painting as well as the type of what is probably meant to be like originally it's tile but it's done softly so you don't pay too much attention to that but you still see the texture mm -hmm. and the fire fire is great with the smoke, um, and this one, this one's also atmospheric, but in a completely different way than our first place winner. Right. right. Okay. Is that third? Yeah, early morning, San Francisco by Michael Fritchie. Early morning, San Francisco by Michael Fritchie. So this one d did look like to me that it was San Francisco. Um, it's sort of uh, a, a scene that we've seen similar scenes like this before, uh, but they were more popular probably in the 70s, 80s. Um, but this one has great texture in the thickness of the paint. 
and, and it is directing you into it. The colors are great. Um, I really was drawn to this painting somewhat because of the subject matter, I think was well done, but at the same time, unfortunately, I wasn't able to give it a higher award because I felt that the circle on the top kept drawing my eye to it because the value of it is so much darker and it's really the only real round shape in the painting that I keep going to where I really want to look more at the scene. Right. So we have another honorable mention by the Oops. Mount Shasta by Michael Fritchie. This is another honorable mention in the oils category. Honorable mention, Michael Fritchie, Mount Shasta. So this painting looks like it could very well be a plein air painting. Um, or started out as a plein air painting. I like the thickness of the brush strokes, the looseness of it. Uh, it's set up really well, foreground, middle ground, background, and the colors are really beautiful. Nice. I gave a few honorable Yes, you did. This is uh, honorable mention by uh, Rebecca Lamely. It's called Connection. It's a really, enjoyable scene. It makes you feel good. The child, you know, paying attention to the man, playing the music, and um, it looks like it took a lot of care in painting this painting. The brush strokes are, you know, thought, well thought out. You know, this is depicting that face. There's a lot of difficulty in that, and it was executed really well. And then you get that boy who is just, he stops and he looks. And, um, you know, the, the scene is just very sweet. We have one more honorable oil category, honorable mention by Vesla Cooper. And uh, it's called Bridge to Everywhere. Technically, extremely well done. Looks like it could be an illustration in a children's storybook. Um, the color palette is is really very nice getting those blues in there and the scene moves the depiction of everything is just very technically well done I own one of her pieces I enjoy it very much okay I'm gonna do sculpture ready okay it's the, this this tall, tall one right oh, the here. tall one okay um, honorable mention in the miscellaneous category and that is number 16. So let me find the artist's name. It's Laurie Hauser. It's titled Confetti. And because the pedestals are all over the place, this is, just wasn't with the rest of the group. Okay. So, um, it looks like it's underneath the sea. And that if you were scuba diving, you might come to this one. I, I felt that uh, out of the three, it, this one has the most interesting shape and it also has the decoration going on more sides. So um, I, th I think overall just the shape of it is completely interesting and the idea of changing the lighting on it was um, using a lot of imagination as well. So it's an imaginative piece. It would be great to see this in like a diorama, see more of them and see a complete a complete uh, scene together. She's just started and these, I believe are some of her first pieces and she already has more ideas about where to go from here. Great. This is sculpture category. This is the first place piece. It's called Jack the Hare. And um, this is by Patty Cisneros. And notice the red dot, already it's sold. Already sold. The rabbit is fun. It's well done. Uh, I like that this one is glazed. And so uh, the texture is good on it. You know, it has the hair, the whiskers, the whole thing. Um, it was built really well. It's gone. You've got a lot of fun pieces in this show. This is a really super fun one. I love this one myself, but somebody got there before I did. <laughs> 
So we have just discovered that our artist that is taking the second place award in sculpture, this would have been her third award. And as most of our members know, we only allow two awards per member per show. And so there was one that we showed you earlier that was in the acrylic category from this same artist that uh, we're gonna take that award away so that she can have this award because it's a better award. And this is by Sherry Lynn Morris. What's this thing it's called? called? Gnome Tea Party. Gnome Tea Party. That fits pretty well. That fits pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a fun use of just all kinds of things put together to create this little story. And, uh, you know, it, there's, you don't see a lot of pieces like this, so it's unique. It's very unique, and, uh, and I would love to hear the story that goes behind it. She's one of our most creative people in the organization. I think her work is amazing. I really love her assemblage work myself. I own a few pieces of it in my art barn where I resell art for, for our local artists. And Sherry is helping me out at an event that we're doing on April 20th. She's gonna be in charge of a monarch butterfly chalk mural. So we're gonna have some fun with that. Yes, yes, yeah, it's decoration behind the yeah. unicorn. And Sorry. Has the doll, the doll arms and, and legs on it and just everything that's been put together. It's just it, totally fun. You have to you have to see back in there the little angel doll and all the embellishments here. It's just amazing, amazing piece of work. It's titled Life's Adventure by Kathy Kyle. Third place in sculpture, Life Adventure by Kathy Kyle. It's a little car with the uh, RV on the back. <laughs> really uh, good use of the clay this is this is not easy to do uh have the wheels on there have everything fit together the way it is uh you know all these little details like the chimney the wheels little this and that and there's a ladder in the back so again a really fun fun piece that uh there was a lot of care taken in how it was painted so the surface, the surface design, not only texture, but the colors that were used. And uh, again, I bet there's a big story behind this one. She's very inventive as well. And I kept looking for the little animal because I'm surprised that we don't see a little bird on there or a frog or something. But this one is a very nice piece. And I would mention that uh, Kathy is our vice president and she has donated one of her pieces um, in our silent auction. So if you're interested in getting a Kathy Kyle piece, you can come on down to the show this weekend, bid in the silent auction, and you might get a deal. But then again, you might not, because I'm bidding on it. <laughs> Honorable mention in uh, the 3D sculpture category. This is by Christina Arismendi Hutchison, it says. And it's called Transitions. Transition, Christina's piece. Very nice. This is her first entry in one of our shows. I think this is a lovely piece, but let's let the judge say something. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it's it's an interesting form, somewhat figurative, and we know with Raku, uh, you don't know exactly how it's going to turn out. So, so the reduction, the oxidation, it's nice. She's got those blocks on there and uh, got some good coloring. Um, the form overall is is just a, a pleasing form. And, and it's interesting what she's got going on there, especially since today is the solar eclipse. <laughs> right, it's very theme for today. That's great, that's great. Um, she is a teacher too. She teaches ceramics and she's oh, taught okay. at um, Sonoma State for many years, but now a resident here. Her uh, husband works for the forest service, the government. He's an archeologist and he goes out and checks and makes sure the sites are okay. So welcome to the world, Christina, with us and congratulations on your honorable mention. So here we are back at the miscellaneous because we skipped one. Yes, we skipped. Did we even? Yeah, we skipped this category altogether. Right. This is first. Oh, wait a minute. We didn't give it. That's why I was confused. All right. I'm always a little confused. Hold on. <laughs> it's just me. I'm miscellaneous. Okay. Okay, wait. Back to miscellaneous. Number 39 is our first place winner. And it is by. 
I have two lists here. I have to go. Richard Nielsen, right here. This really it's beautiful woodworking, piece. isn't it? Okay. It's wood. So, it is wood. Yes, it's, it's wood, wood, and it's just Very beautiful nice. work. Okay, well, I'm glad that that's the one I chose for first place because I wasn't completely sure what some of the pieces were made out of. Mm -hmm. um, it's, you know, it's, it's completely well done. It, it looks like it's a Hobbit house. Um, it's, again, you have so many fun pieces in this show. You just want a to lot walk into the little round a door, lot of don't realism, you? realism, but yeah. also a lot of imagination as well. And, um, you know, it's something that I've never seen and probably will never see again. So uh, it's very, very unique. Oh. It goes to Peaceful Earth, an AI piece by our illustrious president, mm -hmm. Linnell Phillips. And I, lo I love this piece. I, uh, the subject matter, it's it's science fiction, and uh, which is very different from everything else that I've looked at. And uh, the color scheme is great, monochromatic, but it isn't a boring piece, which could happen with, uh, with something that has that kind of a palette. And it has all these little details that you wanna just come inside and take a look at, as well as the birds are flying around. So it's very mysterious, very sci-fi, very kind of what's ha what's happening these days in a lot of art. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Going back to this uh, piece that we talked about a little earlier in the miscellaneous category, as it turns out, we have more than enough artists to give uh, first, second, and third place awards in miscellaneous. So this piece is now receiving a third place award. Right. Unfortunately, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, this is best of show. Come on, sweetie, come on through if you want to. Oh, all right. Um, this best of show, this is number 28 by Richard Niederloff. It's called Koi on Blue. It's acrylic. Take This is a, it's an excellent painting. Uh, it has motion in it. It's real at the same time, it's playful and it's imaginative. So there's a lot going on with different use of brushwork as well as, as it's, it's, it is intentional. We can see, I mean, it's, it's clear, but at the same time, the brushwork speaks of it being a painting. So it's realistic but it's also really about the surface of the picture plane. It looks very much like an oil painting instead of an acrylic painting. And you know, that could, it partly due to, uh, to the finish on it. So, but at the same time, it's the way it's been painted. So being able to really use that paint thick and, and expressive and full of, Texture, lines, bold, bold, uh, bold brush moves. But then the koi, they're there. And even they are, are, are very loose and brushy. So it's a combination of both realism and abstraction at the same time. Um, and very, very well done. It, this, is, this is just an extremely excellent painting. Nice. Thank you so much, Sherry, for uh, judging our show for us today. You're we welcome. really appreciate it. And the check will be in the mail. <laughs> <laughs>